So, a lot's changed in the last uh, 17 hours since my last video went live. By the way, massive thank you for the support on that. That video did really, really well. You guys love the reward videos, so I'm going to keep bringing you guys as many as possible every single time we have the opportunity to, of course, squad battles, div rivals, but champions rewards. All of them will be coming to the channel. But first of all, we moved house. I now live in a different house. What do you think of the new background? Better than the last one? Worse than the last one? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear your opinions and leave a like on this video if you guys do go on to enjoy it. Today what I have for you guys is my rank 1 div division rivals team. I nearly said rank 1 division 1. Not quite there yet. However, this team got me gold 1 in foot chumps. At one point I was 20 and 3 and bottled it. Bottled it completely. Genuinely lost 5 in a row. Well, to be fair, 3 of them were against top 100 players. One was a pro. However, gold one is still respectable in my opinion. And I thought I'd share with you guys the team that I've been using. It's really successful. It's pretty similar to most teams I build. Uh, I wanted to go over the team and then go over my custom tactics for you. And hopefully you do go on to enjoy. So starting off in goal, you'll probably already guess. There's really only one goalkeeper I use in this game and it is Allison. Um, I think I've used him for over 200 games now, which is crazy. My favorite goalkeeper by a country mile. He's fantastic in the game. Really big fan of Allison, And uh, I... I I don't know what it is about him, but I keep going back to him. I've tried different goalkeepers. I've tried Courtois. I've tried... Um, who else did I try? I tried Edison as well. I just keep going back to Allison. I don't know why. I just, I just really like him in this game. He's fantastic for me. Uh, he makes mistakes, of course, but most keepers do. You know, most keepers do make mistakes. Uh, however, like for... Uh, I think he's about ten to 15,000 coins right now. Pretty cheap and good, good, good goalie for the price. So, over at right back again... You can pretty much already guess it's going to be Kyle Walker. 200 games for me and the club, he's fantastic. The only thing that lets Kyle Walker down is his agility is 67, which is awful. It's god awful. Uh, he turns like a truck, so when he's trying to move the ball up and down the wings, maybe trying to hold on to possession, he does that pretty poorly. But apart from that, he's incredibly quick. Great stamina, great jumping, good strength, good aggression, great defending stats. He's just an all-round beast over at right back. Now at right centre back, we've got, of course, Eric Bailly. Who else? Who else but Eric Bailly? Again... Another incredible player, big fan of Eric Bailly, 203 games in the club, absolute machine, love the man to bits, he's fantastic on this game, one of my favourite centre-backs that I've used. Sadly, I don't have the coins currently on the Roto Glory account to purchase a better centre-back, um, however, you know, Eric Bailly does the trick. And then over at left centre-back, we have got Davinson Sanchez, who can be a donkey at times, but can also be a saving grace other times. He's just as bad as he is good, so... He kind of levels himself out a little bit. He's decent, and I'm a big fan of him. However, he could be better. But then again, so could everybody. So it's one of those things. It is what it is, really. Uh, although I am a big fan of Dav Davinson Sanchez. I do like the player. And then over at left back, we have got Mendy, who, in my opinion, is starting to become a little bit poor. Um... He started out being one of my favourite left backs, but now that people are grading to Mbappe's, Bale's, Salah's, you know, play them with Lucas even, he just struggles. He struggles so much to, to keep up. He struggles to, to win the ball back a lot. And uh, sadly, I think I'm going to have to upgrade Mendy to... I don't even know who. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get somebody else in this squad. It's probably going to mean shuffling around the whole squad completely, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm just going to have to get rid of Mendy. I can't have him in the squad anymore. He's just not good enough. Uh, then we have the centre mid line, of course, and uh, James Milner is not one of those players. Um, they, I think we have two CDMs in the club here. So we've got Fabinho, who usually plays in the centre over here for me. 59 games, 10 assists. He's actually solid. A really big fan of Firmino. Uh, sorry, Firmino. Fabinho, uh, a big fan of him. He's just really, really good. He's a solid CDM slash holding mid. And he works really well in the uh, in the centre mids that I've got. The other CDM is uh, it's Fernandinho. Fernandinho as well is a really, really solid player. He loses stamina quite a lot. He often gets uh, subbed off for a player that I'll show you guys uh, in a little bit. Um, and he's not got the greatest pace or uh, or sprint speed, sadly. However, we have a shadow card on him and he feels a little bit f uh, faster. He gets bullied off the ball a little bit, but uh, he can hold his ground as well. And I do like that about him. And he's, uh, he's more of a... Uh, running around people to win the ball as opposed to Fabinho who just stands there like the Hulk and just takes every challenge head on. And the last play is actually a cam and it's Deli Ali. Now, Deli Ali, I have bought and sold and bought and sold and bought and sold more times than I can count. But I keep going back to him and I think that he's one of the better players that I've used this game. Uh, although I don't like to tell myself that because a lot of the time he just annoys me. But he also does so much for me that I have to keep going back for him because he's just fantastic. Um, his style, he, just, he just runs around the whole game. He's always winning balls. He's tall. He's got a great shooting. He's got decent pace and physical, decent dribbling, uh, decent passing. He works really, really well. 
Now over at left forward, a man that I swear by, uh, and I will always swear by, it is, uh, it's, it's Mane. Mane is fantastic. 94 games, 61 goals, 40 assists, 131, sorry, 101 uh, goal contributions in 94 games from uh, from left forward slash, slash left wing is fantastic in my opinion. Big fan of Mane, uh, very, very good player. One of the only players in this game that feels genuinely rapid uh, and I'm a big fan of that. So uh, I do like Mane um, and he, he just seems to play really well. As well, it's surprising that his strength is only 67. It feels a lot more in game. He definitely feels quicker in game. Uh, I'm surprised that he's only uh, 67 now. A right forward we have actually got ourselves player of the month Lucas who again is another he's great he's great however I wish he did more I just wish he did more and it's annoying um, however he does a lot and not get assists and not get goals he does a lot for the club uh, and a lot in the games without you know getting onto the, the score sheet for example so uh, he's always at the right place at the right time I wish I had more stamina uh, that's my only pet peeve as well is his stamina is just awful but apart from that he's got fantastic attacking stats and he's absolutely phenomenal and at striker we have got the main man the god himself Harry Kane this guy is unbelievable 81 games 86 goals 30 assists 100 116 Goal contributions in 81 games is fantastic in my opinion. Uh, he's incredible at holding striker. He's incredible at left or right striker. He's just fantastic. He's honestly fantastic. He's got incredible stats. and I just love him to bits. He's absolutely phenomenal. He's almost, if not better, than Lewandowski. Uh, he's just phenomenal. And this is what the team looks like. I'm going to quickly take you through my custom tactics and all that good stuff in just a second. But that is what the team starts off in game like. And I do change straight away. Going over to custom tactics now. Um... The defensive formation that we play is a 4-1-2-1-2 and I play on 4 width and 4 depth with balanced defensive style and possession offensive style. This is the formation where I want to lock a game down against a wide player and I just want to hold the ball in the midfield as much as possible. I'll change to this formation. It's not great going forward. The two striker formation beats uh, AI defending quite well but aside from that there's no real benefit going forward um, but going backwards is really really good and I'm a big fan of it. It's just uh, it holds possession really well and it closes down and controls games very very well. In terms of instructions I have got target man on Mane which actually should be the opposite way around. It should be um, getting behind on Mane and target man on Harry Kane. No idea why they switched. Both on stay forward. Uh, we have uh, play them with Lucas playing at Cam on stay forward. We have Fernandinho playing left centre mid on uh, on on stay back while attacking and cover centre. We have Deli Ali playing on balanced attacking and cover centre. We have Fabinho playing on uh, stay back while attacking and cover centre. The left back and right back are both on stay back while attacking and the rest of it is just default. Um, and I, You know, like I said, it's a great formation for just uh, keeping control of the play and I'm a big fan of that uh, for that reason. Now, my attacking formation, my attacking game plan um, is actually... Uh, we have to save that, unfortunately, and back out. Uh, my attacking game plan... Um, is actually a 4-3-3-4. I'm really loving this formation. We have got four width and four depth, but we've got pressure on heavy touch and a balanced offensive style with, um, with I think, five width. Uh, it's really, really decent. I'm a big fan of this formation. Um, it just seems to work really, really well uh, with Harry Kane up top and, of course, the players on the wings. It works really well. We've got great subs for when players get tired uh, and it's just a great, great formation. Now, in terms of how the team looks and what we've got custom tactics-wise and custom instructions-wise, we've got Mane on stay forward, stay wide and get in behind. We've got Lucas on stay forward, stay wide, get in behind and Harry Kane on target man and stay forward. We've got Deli Allen on stay forward and both Fernandinho and Fabinho are uh, stay back while attacking and for some reason they're both on cover wing when they should both be on cover center then we've got Kyle Walker and Mendy both on stay back while attacking while the rest are default uh, in terms of my other um uh, other custom tactics we've got the ultra defensive which is a 4-2-3-1 uh, we have got a balanced defensive style with uh, five width and three depth we've got a long ball offensive style with five width and uh, and three players in the box with one corner to one free kicks this is what the team looks like uh, uh, sadly it's not this is not what the team looks like um I need to go over here uh, for some reason, these have all been reset slightly, and it's so annoying that that's the case. I wonder why my teams were playing randomly like this. Um, however, this is what the team looks like. We've got Harry Kane up top as a target man. We've got Deli Ali stay back while attacking or come back on defense even. Uh, we have got Mane and Lucas both on basic defensive support and both on cut inside. We have got Fabinho and Fernandinho both on, uh, for some reason... 
Uh, oh no, sorry, they are on stay back while attacking, and the same with the fullbacks. Uh, this is just for the uh, for the the games that I need to close out and I need to win the game. Um, so that is what that that formation is for. And the ultra attacking, of course, is at 44 with constant pressure and fast build up. We have got incredible depth and width on both uh, both you know sides here. And in terms of how the team looks, uh, again, for some reason it's changed, but uh, it should be Fernandinho and Dele Alli swap there. Uh, and usually what I'll do is I'll bring on a, a striker or a winger for Deli Ali. Um, so that's pretty much how it works. And we've got stay forward, um, stay forward, stay forward. And again, why why this is the case, I don't know. Um, but there we go. We've got a bunch of stay forwards and uh, we've just got balanced attacking with uh, stay back while attacking on both fullbacks. And that is pretty much it for my custom tactics. No idea why they they constantly reset and change and stuff. It's so annoying. Um, however, for the bench, we have got the players I usually bring on. We've got Alan, Douglas Costa, and Isco. Uh, Isco coming off the bench in 35 games has scored, uh, oh, sorry, he's contributed to 15 goals, which in my opinion is pretty decent. Uh, Alan's come off the bench, oh, sorry, uh, Alan has come off the bench in 97 games as a centre mid or CDM, and he's fantastic as well coming off the bench. Big fan of Alan coming off the bench. And then we have got Douglas Costa, who also comes off the bench in 113. He has contributed to 52 goals, so uh, not too bad actually as a bench player. We have a few more that we could potentially bring on. Maybe a Martial who's played nearly 130 and almost contributed to 100 goals as well. But that was from a lot of starts. We've got Piszczek as well if we need to close out the game. Arnautovic if we need another striker. And Bacino if we need to close out the game as well. He hasn't actually played yet. But that is what the team currently looks like. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you lads later.